are two varieties of Sampai, I got them both. There is the red variety, which are like these nice like burgundy color, and there are the brown variety, which are like kind of like a weird beige color. And if you look at them, you see that they look quite similar to snake fruit. They've got like that kind of scaly skin. Uh, they are distantly related to snake fruit. They're both palm fruits, but uh, they're of different genuses. And these, if you look in there, they're kind of like dirty looking. If you look into the, de the depths of these, it's pretty dirty looking. Uh, it's because these are actually swamp fruits. They grow in a swamp. These are not like a single fruit. These are uh, like a cluster of many fruits inside. And yeah, you can really see the dirt on that. <laughs> it really gets in there. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna eat these, you gotta be careful not to eat any of this dirt. And these are something that I've seen before in West Malaysia, but I've never seen them fresh before. You can find the pickles there. Other than pickles, it's also used to cook with. Like if you wanna like add like a souring agent to like whatever you're cooking, you wanna make it like your hot and sour soup or something, you can use this to like make it a little bit tart. So it should be interesting how this tastes. It's gonna be sour, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's going to be like any kind of um, difference between the red and the brown ones. I, I don't know. If you go to the markets, you'll see both of them sometimes. I'm not sure if uh, one is better than the other. Well, this one actually has two lobes inside kind of the way that a uh, Thai snake fruit would. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, so there's actually two pieces here. I think some of these smaller ones, they only have one, but this one has, uh, has two. It's a bonus, hey. Ooh. bit sour. It's hard to... It's hard to give, like, the flavor of this because it's so sour that you put it in your mouth, it's kind of like the alarms start going off. This is sour, this is sour, and um, it's hard to get, like, the little subtleties <laughs> to, like, what it actually tastes like. There's not much sweetness to it. Well, let's just, just like break it down, okay? Not much sweetness to it. Um, as far as sourness goes, this is, I'd say, as sour as a lemon. If not, maybe a little more sour than that. A lot of sour fruits, they have a lot of astringency to it. So you like put it in your mouth and it kind of gives you like cotton mouth, makes you have like a dry mouth. This does not do that. This is just sour. I want to say that it tastes a little bit like um, the Belimbi, which is like a, it's related to star fruit, just like really, really sour star fruit kind of taste. It also does have a little bit of the uh, salic taste, or the Thai snake fruit taste, only not bitter. They're really cool looking. I, I like them. I think they're like really interesting looking. Very bizarre. Yeah, and it's it peels very similarly to snake fruit. It's got like a very thin, scaly skin that just kind of like flakes off into like little, into little pieces. This one's also quite uh, a bit bigger. Hard, hard to take. Um, I'm gonna try them side by side to see if I can taste the difference. Why am I doing this? Okay.
they taste very similar. I mean, I can't really detect a difference between the two. Maybe there is. I'm not sure. This one tastes maybe a little bit stronger, which I didn't think was possible. Yeah, it's got a little, little complex flavors in there. I say like if you're to take grapes, laying sats, the limby, mix it all together. Maybe a little bit of snake fruit flavor. That's what you get. You get this guy. It's interesting. Not something that I would eat for pleasure, but um, you know, if you really, really like sour fruits, this would be good for you. So hey, I've got a little packet of salt and chili powder here, and this is normally how people eat the um, asampaya if they're going to eat it raw. So I'm gonna put a little bit on here and see uh, see what it does. Okay, a little salty. Oh, damn it. Oh. So when you put the salt and the chili powder on this, it neutralizes that sourness. The sourness gets a lot more tolerable. It's still there, but it's different. It's not as painful. But it's still very intense to eat fruit like this, to do the salt and chili powder and the sour like all together. It's just kind of like, your mouth just gets like so overwhelmed. But damn, like if you like flavor, if you want like, if, you, if you're not a fan of like bland food or something like that, you like really want like to feel like someone just like kicked you in the face, then this is the way to go. So yeah, taking this for what it is, and that is a very, very sour fruit, it's good. You know, if you like sour things, if you like doing the sour salt chili combination, then this is definitely something worth trying. If you don't like things like that, uh, you still might be able to find some use for it. Just because it would be good if it's diluted. If you were to make like a juice using this, it'd be very good. But there's a lot of tastes in here. There's Bilim Bing, there's Star Gooseberry, there is Snake Fruit, there's Lang Sat, there's like Lemon. It's like if you took all these, these flavors and you mixed them together and then you just like poured sour like on top of it, that's what you get with this guy here. Yeah, you know how I said that a sampaya is usually used to make pickles? Well, I got some. You know, they were selling these at the market. Um, and I don't know what they pickled them in, but it's like this delightful urine colored liquid here. giving me dry mouth. Maybe it was picked a little early. That could be a thing. But a little dry mouth. Not that bad. It's not sour. I mean, it's sour, but not like to that level where you can't hardly hold it in your mouth sour like it is when it's fresh. These are something that you can just keep eating. Um, it's not painful. But whatever they pickle this in is flavored, okay? So it loses that flavor of the asampaya and it just kind of like picks up whatever the solution is. And in this case, they pickled it with something that is like orange. It tastes a little bit like Sunny Delight. It's okay though, you know, it's, it's all right. I mean, definitely something I would be able to eat uh, in abundance, unlike the fresh ones, which you eat, eat one and you feel like you're going to die. And um, one thing that they do here pretty often is they will take their pickles with salt and chili powder. So I'm gonna try it that way. There you go. Hmm. <coughs> oh. It's like taking a fruit that's painful Taking the pain out of it and then sprinkling it back on top. That's what that is. Mmm. It's 
not bad. It's just really intense. Um, I think I prefer it without. The salt and chili powder on the fresh fruit was okay because like it's fresh tasting. When you eat pickles, like they're just kind of like stale. Uh, not terrible. Easier to take, but not as good tasting as the Assam Paya when it's fresh. But if you have a whole bucket full of Assam Paya and they're gonna go bad unless you preserve them some way, pickling them does make sense. Um, the orange flavor is kind of weird to have like an additional flavor added to it. Um, not sure how I feel about that, but it's okay. I'd be curious what it tastes like without any additional flavoring to it, special, especially like artificial like tang flavor, but um, as it is, yeah, it's pretty good. I get it. It's not, um, not exactly my sort of thing. This is not something that I would buy again, but it's interesting to see like other ways that people will eat this fruit. So there's that. Hey guys, I just want to give a very, very special shout out to Joe from Los Gatos, California. Joe was very, very kind to give a generous contribution on my Patreon page, which has actually brought my series to the next milestone. What that means is that there's now going to be a website where you can easily access all these videos of mine. So thank you so much, Joe, for your help. It really does help. And thank you so much to all the other Patreon supporters who have been showing their support. Uh, this series has grown a lot uh, over the past few months thanks to your help, so it really, really does help me out. Uh, if you're not a contributor and you'd like to learn more about how you can improve this series of mine, uh, just click on my face here to be brought to my Patreon page. Thank you so much, guys.